Welcome to the Sunday Update. I'm Nicole Gunn. US President Joe Biden has called for unity on the 20th anniversary of the September 11 terror attacks. Emotional ceremonies are being held to remember those who died when four hijacked planes were crashed in New York City, at the Pentagon in Washington and in a Pennsylvania field. On this day, Jill and I hold you close in our hearts and send you our love. We hope that 20 years later, the memory of your beloved brings a smile to your lips, even while still bringing a tear to your eye. New South Wales investigators have revisited the site where William Tyrrell disappeared seven years ago today. The three-year-old vanished while playing in the backyard of his foster grandmother's home at Kendall on the New South Wales mid-north coast. The Victorian government is cracking down on the construction industry amid concerns that companies and workers are ignoring COVID restrictions. There are reports many sites are breaching the 25% worker limit and are failing to comply with a COVID-safe plan. Fruit and vegetable prices are expected to rise towards the end of the year because of the COVID pandemic. A shortfall in harvest workers is expected to impact supply and those prices are expected to peak by Christmas. The launch of SpaceX's first all-civilian mission has been pushed back a day. Weather conditions in Florida will now see Inspiration4 blast into space no earlier than Thursday. To sport and the Western Bulldogs have set up an AFL grand final clash with the Demons after last night smashing Port Adelaide by 71 points. Uh, yeah, a lot went right. Our contest inside and then definitely forward of it was um, unbelievable. Our players were just superb. The collision footy that our players were prepared to play was just uh, outrageously good and what an incredible night for our footy club. That's Bulldogs coach Luke Beveridge. The Rabbitohs have moved straight to the NRL preliminary finals with an upset 16-10 win over the Panthers. South's coach Wayne Bennett says he's proud of his team's efforts. You know, there's obviously areas of our game that were, you know, really scratchy, which kept opening the door. We always had the lead and then we kept opening the door, which, you know, allowed it to be the contest that it was. And in tennis, Britain's Emma Raducanu has claimed the US Open title, her first major of her career. She beat Canada's Leila Annie Fernandez in straight sets. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.